What is good, Nation? It's Stock J back with another video, and in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock, which you should be looking out for for the future. I'm also going to talk about the one and only Ape, and get, kind of give you guys my opinion on that, why I think it's actually amazing for AMC, why this could actually heavily increase the odds of a short squeeze. Now, before I break anything down, before I get into any more details, I do have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Don't take any of this as financial advice, and also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this not only benefits me but the entire ape community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the mumu link down below and in the description if you sign up for mumu the link down below and deposit a hundred dollars into the account you're guaranteed up to 10 free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars and the best part is you can always sell these 10 free stocks for cash and use that cash to buy some free amc shares the offer ends in just about four days please check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video so when it comes to amc there's this new ticker known as ape that came out and i want to share my opinions with you guys so as you know ape does not actually have an options chain it was supposed to get one but i think that it not having one is a very good thing so when it comes to amc one options right they are basically priced in based off 60 percent of it comes from amc and about 30 percent from ape so that goes to show that the options chain is what heavily has been manipulating amc that that's what hides the synthetics and the FTDs. So in this case, AMC has the options chain. That's the main thing. That's the main thing that affects the options chain, right? Because it wasn't a 50-50 split or anything like that. It was more like a 65-35 split or something where we retained 65% of our value in AMC and the rest went into like Ape. But what's good about Ape is it doesn't have its own options chain. It just came out a couple of days ago, so we're just getting started. And I think if you give it time, this thing is going to soar. So it not having an options chain makes it much harder for shorts to manipulate it. It's less manipulated than AMC. Now, another thing about Ape is it's basically like a branch of AMC. And I consider it a good thing, not a bad thing. And I personally have held on to all my Ape uh, equity units. I know other people out there have sold them. There's this thing going on where you sell Ape to buy AMC. Well, here's my opinion. It's your own money. You could do whatever you want. All right. I will not judge you for anything. It's really your own decision. But I personally am holding on. And the reason for that is because I think Ape has a lot of potential for a bit of a run, considering that the float is limited. I, I believe because of T plus zero settlement, I don't see how Ape could actually be naked shorted or things like that. And there is a lot of talk about how not all Apes have been delivered, especially overseas. So there are lots of IOUs coming out. And like I said, there's still so many things coming out. We still have to study this thing, see how it moves. So I'm going to study it. I'm not going to just get out of my position and just throw it all into AMC. Right now, what I'm essentially doing is I'm going to watch Ape. I'm going to hold it for potential run to the upside now people are wondering what about dilution will you sell during dilution and that's something i'm still going to decide i'm sorry will i sell it during a big run-up before dilution right my i'm not decided on that yet but as of right now i'm not worried i'm just focused on what ape is why it's such an amazing thing and why it's going to help amc so i haven't sold any of my ape like i said you don't have to or if it's really just your own choice but i want to talk about this now a lot of people are looking at the FAQ section on AMC and they're talking about some very interesting things. Like they're asking the question, oh, could Ape be converted into common stock? And then people looked at this and said, technically, yes, it can be converted into common stock, but only if the AMC board proposes it. So the value of Ape, it isn't necessarily a fundamental value play but ape does get some of its value from amc being a part of it but it's not as strong as amc in itself but the potential in ape does come from the possibility that it does become an amc share but that's just not guaranteed so we don't know if it will happen we don't know if it won't happen with that said there is still some value in it thanks to that potential now there are people that say it's it's never going to happen, this and that. That's actually not true. It still could happen. But I want to talk about something else once I could find that part. So anyways, it, it was also noted, I saw it right here, that it, there could be up to about, let me see, 5 billion ape units. People are talking about this and saying, oh, it's going to get diluted like crazy. I 
was a little bit concerned about the dilution. I don't like that part about it. But if you look at the opportunity cost, if you look at why it's getting diluted somewhat, it's not as bad as you think. Firstly, Adam Aaron is not a fool. He's not going to dilute ape with 5 billion new apes in just one day. I don't see that happening. But I do see him diluting it a little bit to help pay off their debt. There's over 400 million, 483 million of them that he's ready to use, at least quite quickly. And I believe what he's going to do is he's going to let Ape run a bit and then dilute it. Now, you might think, oh, no, it's not good. It's horrible. He's diluting Ape. Well, here's the thing. Imagine Ape runs to like $12, $13, $14 a share. And Adam Aaron issues more apes and he manages to sell them for like $11, $12 each. And they sell over 480 million of them. They're going to raise over $5 billion, five to $6 billion. This will wipe off AMC's debt entirely. Plus, maybe raise some ec extra money that they could use for new ventures, right? They could get into gaming laser tagging really cool things and what i would worry more about is could adam aaron bring amc to profitability not just for one quarter but for, but for many quarters in a row because if he gets that which i believe amc has the potential to do it i believe in them i think they will but right now i think adam aaron needs to prioritize the debt once they get that out of the way which they could quite quickly do that then What's going to happen is there will be no more short thesis. More institutions could be buying into AMC. More and more people will be going long. The market may start to recover during that time. The point is a lot of shorts. I'm not going to say every single synthetic uh, short position will be covered at once. It could happen. But I do believe a lot of them are going to start covering a lot of small hedge funds. Because they're going to realize AMC is doing better than they would have thought. And I don't think all every single hedge fund in the world is playing the exact same game. Some hedge funds got caught into this mess. So a lot of the small ones, they're just going to start covering and covering and covering if AMC becomes stronger fundamentally. Because the short thesis, as far as that goes, you could argue AMC has dead. That's why they're shorting it. Well, we're about to deal with that problem. And there's no good reason to short AMC once they fix that issue, right? It wasn't their fault. The pandemic was hard on everyone. That's what happened. So with that said, Ape is amazing. It's amazing. It's going to help us pay off our debt. It's going to raise a lot of money. And once AMC improves in these fundamental ways, it can squeeze. It really can. It could go to thousands of dollars a share if all of the shorts cover. Very, very possible. I'm still very bullish. Now, as far as the strategy goes, I don't see Adam Aaron diluting Ape like a, so many times over. I don't see him even diluting all, using all 5 billion of them. What could happen, and this is a possibility, Adam Aaron and AMC may dilute Ape, raise $5 billion, maybe do a, a one more dilution, raise another few billion. They use all that money for the other things, and they might do a thing where they convert half of the apes into AMC shares or something else like that. I can't guarantee that, but it's a possibility. And if they do that, I mean, it wouldn't be the best move because it does allow for more shares outstanding. But AMC already has billions of them, in my opinion, if you account for synthetics. But if they don't do that, there's a chance that dilutions could be limited in the future. And this thing could really, really start to run or at least do a lot better. So as far as Ape goes, I know it could be diluted. I know it's not just going to explode to like $100 a share instantly. It's very unlikely. But the cost of that dilution, just think about that. Maybe your share price in Ape, and maybe it's going to push up for some time, get diluted, drop down. Maybe. But the benefit of that happening is it could recover. As AMC runs, I think they're going to be running in parity with one another. And then we pay off our debt. We improve the fundamentals. We become profitable for many quarters in a row. That is the number one way to increase the odds of a short squeeze. I mean, there's going to be no short thesis whatsoever. 
And AMC is a strong company still. They're bouncing back, right? They're, they're doing well. So what I'm going to say is this. Adam Aaron, he has a fiduciary responsibility to for our shareholders, for his shareholders. He may not do everything that we like because his number one priority is AMC, the fundamentals of AMC, not causing a short squeeze, but his actions, and he, there is one thing he has when it comes to his actions that we have in common with him. That is, he does not like the short sellers on his, his back. He can't say everything explicitly because of the legal consequences, and I'm not a legal expert, so don't take it that way, but he could say some things. Right? He did express his dismay towards the short sellers in the past. So this pounce of his, whether this truly does expose synthetics, maybe that's also on the table, maybe. Some people are saying they're going to use Ape to cover. I'm not too sure about that. It's a possibility. What I'm trying to say is there's so many things to come from Ape. I'm not selling mine. And for the future, right, for a dilution, the situation would be a little bit different. But as of right now, I don't see myself selling them. All right. As of right now. So for the time being, I'm holding both AMC and APE. I haven't sold anything. I'm still very bullish. And I really believe this really was a pounce on the short sellers. It really was. Maybe not, not an immediate one. <coughs> Excuse me. Not an immediate one. But for the long term, it's a great one. I really see big improvements to come. And I, I also like the fact that I know people don't like to hear this, but the fact that, look, AMC is now at this low level. It's probably going to come down again, a little bit lower, but I'm, I'm hoping that we get a bit of a balance from here. But what I'm trying to say is in the future, we could see AMC drop to some low level, right? The thing about that is I don't see this as a bad thing because we have the same amount of AMC shares. So we have an opportunity to buy even more of these. If you want, I'm not forcing you to do that. It's your own decision. Because in the future, the float hasn't changed. Remember, the float is the same, the legal float, as what it was many, many months ago. Back when this thing was at, so let me just show you. Back when this thing was all the way up here, when at the time it hit $52 a share, the, the chart's now adjusted for the change. It could still run to 52. It could still run to all-time highs. It could still do that. I'm still very bullish. All right. Nothing has changed. So this is a good opportunity. Remain calm, cool, and collected. Do what you have to do, guys. I'm not going to force you to do anything. Right. Stay strong. And I will most definitely see you guys in the next video. I have not lost faith in AMC. It's doing very, very well fundamentally. Give it time. It's a game of patience. I believe in it. All right. I haven't sold any apes or AMC shares. Give it the time it needs. Thank you. AMC to the moon because the long-term future is bright and peace out.